Hi, brothers and sisters in Christ. So Brother in Christ has a wonderful testimony about how he came to Christ. And I wanted to share that with you guys. And he also wanted me to share that with you guys. So that's why I'm making this video. And before I play you his testimony, um, I want to tell you that that's the name of his channel. I'll include a link to his channel in the description box of this video. And also, like always, um, before watching the testimony, I want to encourage you guys to go down to the comment section of any of my videos. Because in the comment section, I have a long list with evidence for Christianity. So if you're not a Christian and or if you're a skeptic, please read the evidence I present and examine it. If you're a Christian, I also encourage you to read this evidence. And I also you guys want you to spread this. You can copy paste this and post it on social media or you can print it out and give it to people. To find out more, watch my video titled Urgent Free Gospel Tracks. Spread this while you can. In this video, I talk about, um, see, I include a link to the how you can how you can um, get the printable version from Dropbox and you don't need a Dropbox account to get it and 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 how you can get the social media version so refer to those if you want to print it or if you want to copy it so you can spread this also in the description box of all my videos I have a message about end times rapture tribulation coming of the Antichrist so please read that also thank you I will now play you his testimony I was one of those gay people like, I was at the parades, I was at the clubs, I was going out of town, going to see, trying to get at dudes, and complete and total cross-dresser, like, all of that. Um, but, so I feel like I have the room to be able to speak to gay people. And, you know, I don't, I don't want it to always just be about, you know, the gays, but that's really who I want to focus on for now because I feel that's what God is telling me I should talk about. But um, you can probably see I'm nervous, but that's just my personality. Um, I'm trying to get myself together. Um, so yeah. Um, gee, I've always had this feeling like no matter where I was in life, no matter if I was, you know, at a club or in the middle of sex, after sex, whatever it was, I felt like God was giving me that clue. Like, he was hinting in my heart that, you know, you're not supposed to be doing this. But I just always, I kind of just ignored it and pushed it in the back of my head because what else was I, what else was I supposed to do? Those feelings were those feelings. You know, I've always, I felt like I was always attracted to men since a young age and I've come to realize stuff about it if you want to say that you are a gay Christian I won't put it like that I'll say that I believe that there's no such thing as a gay Christian because if you're a Christian you believe in the word right so you believe in the word which means you believe in God and you believe that his word is from him so in the bible it tells you very clearly very clearly that real clear that homosexuality homosexuals will not make it into the kingdom of heaven that's what it says in the bible one thing i don't want to say like everybody in the gay like anybody that's gay or lesbian or whatever i don't want to say that everybody was molested or was introduced to sex in any kind of way but that's a that's a big trend that i see that's Almost all of my friends, almost everyone that I met, you know, out here, I used to go with, you know, we all have been molested or touched on or felt on by somebody. Again, I really don't know where this video is going. Um, I'm nervous, but I knew I had to just make, put something out there because what if, okay, my mindset was, okay, just wait a few months, wait till you get your stuff together, wait till you're feeling right, maybe wait till you're feeling comfortable with yourself and whatnot, but somebody need to, somebody needed to hear this today. That's how I feel. And God has been pulling on my heart about it, and I've just been procrastinating and procrastinating over it. But I know this, this is important. Wherever I'm going, you know, Maybe I can get feedback from you and you can, you know, give me some kind of advice on where to go. But I have stories on stories on top of stories on top of advice on top of all of this 
stuff that I'm here to share with you guys because we are in some serious times and like I'm just gonna go off based on me like I feel like it's getting close to the end of the times and people there's a lot of lost souls it's a lot of people just and it's scary it's scary when I think about it because there's so many people I love and care about like okay I'm just I, I want to stick to like just a gay community but everybody in my family like a lot of people are lost a lot of people are not saved and God is not playing about his word like he's so serious and I see you know I've been around the gay people I've been around a lot of gay people to see how their mentalities are or how they feel about God and they hurt and that's not to put the blame on them or not that I'm not saying gay people are bad people you know they hurt like everybody else is and they have to heal like everybody else got to heal but I see a lot of people in the gay community that feel like well God made me this way you know if he gave me these feelings and I'm just gonna ride with it you know why else would I feel this way it's I didn't wake up and ask to feel like that and I feel you because that's exactly how I used to feel but you got to realize everybody got their sin everybody got their sin Everybody done did something and you got to walk away from it. You got to deny it. I'm telling you, you, you have to deny your feelings and your lust. That's what, that's what God wants us to do. He wants us to have a relationship with him where you can just come to him and talk to him about anything. And that's like a father and people, you know, with me. I could never come to God and talk to him because I didn't have that consistent, I never really had cons a consistent male figure in my life. So this whole time in my life, I've just been comparing God to my worldly father. And nobody's worldly father can amount to how great God is. And, you know, they feel like, well, my, my dad talked to me this way and he did this to me and he beat me, maybe he did this, this and that. But... So how I'm gonna come to God? They comparing they they worldly father, or the God the dad that they have on earth to the God above, and it's really not a comparison at all. I'm telling you, like just the research I've been doing and how the Holy Spirit has been working in my life and in my heart, like He's telling me that I can come to Him for anything, and He loves me regardless. Like every night I was out doing what I was doing and drunk and running across freeways drunk and out of my mind like god was there every night he was there with me every step of the way and he's there with you every step of the way everything you done did like please don't feel like it's too late for you or you you know you're just too much of a bad person you've had too much sex you smoked too much weed you did this this and you done, you've done all these things but god don't care about that like he cares, he does not like the sin, but he loves you regardless. There's nothing in this world that can make him not love you anymore. So go to him, seek God, I'm telling y'all, because the devil is not playing and God is not playing either. At the beginning of this year, I, st I started to feel like this life is just temporary. And it's true, it's temporary. It's, we gonna all be gone at some time. All of this is going to be over at, at some point in time because Jesus is coming back. So I decided I had to start thinking, okay, what if I did have a dude or I was married to a man? Are we really going to be in heaven together? That's the question because in the Bible it clearly says neither adulterers or liars or idolaters or homosexuals will enter the kingdom of heaven. It's set in stone. The word is true. God and the word and Jesus, no, God, the Holy Spirit and the Bible are all in one. It says it in the Bible. There's really no difference. They are the truth. So it's, you really, at this point, I feel like people should, cut their losses and really 
deny your flesh, deny what you really want to do that isn't of God because it ain't going to be worth it in the end. None of the money, none of the money you make, none of the houses you live in, none of the people that you have dealt with sexually, none of your boyfriends, your girlfriend, whatever, none of that's going to make it to heaven if y'all don't save each other. That's how I look at it. You got to save each other. Like, if you really love your dude, tell him to turn to God. Turn to God because the devil is not playing. He's deceiving us. He's the biggest deceiver in the world. Like, it says in the Bible. He's trying to make you believe that you were born this way and that you don't have no other option. But you do. I'm telling you. I don't go to clubs. I don't go to straight clubs, gay clubs. I don't drink anymore, I don't smoke, all of that because I realize that there are demons. That's Those are gateways for the demons to actually come to you or either they really gonna come to you face to face or they just gonna put something in your ear or persuade you in some kind of way to make you wanna sin. So how smart is it to go to gay clubs if you really are trying to change? How smart is it to continue to drink and go to kickbacks and hang out with these people that are doing drugs? How smart is it? I, f I feel for gay people because I love, there's so many gay people in, in my state that I love and I grew friendships with. And I'm going to remember them past earth. Like when I die, I'm going to remember these people. And they not bad people and they don't deserve to go to hell, but people are blinded. People are so blinded these days, and it's sad, like, man, so many gay people are going to go to hell. A lot of people are going to go to hell, right? But a lot of gay people are going to go to hell because they do not repent. It's not about, don't let nobody make you think because you got those feelings that you're going to hell. No, everybody has their little category where they feel, you know, they everybody got their category that they're sinning in, right? So for you to feel those that way to a man or a woman, that's not the sin. The sin is actually lusting or doing the actual sexual act with a man or a woman. So you don't have to do that. God spoke to me, not literally, but he spoke in my heart. And he showed me signs, supernatural signs. He showed me it was a light on my ceiling in this room. I'm telling you. I was praying so hard and I was sad and I was crying. Like, I felt like I wanted to kill myself at that point. I wanted to die. And I just prayed to God and I said, God, if, you, if you're real, you need to let me know. Like, please let me know. Please let me know. And he flashed that light on my ceiling. And I'll never forget that. Like, that was the most beautiful thing i ever seen in my life so if you feel like you're a bad person you feel like god ain't gonna talk to you you gotta reach out you gotta stop doing the stuff that you're doing and live by him and he will he will gift you he will grant you all the things that you ever wanted every hug that you like every everything you didn't get from your father on earth all the love that a man never gave you god will give you in the right way, the way it was supposed to be given to us. You know what I mean? Like, he ain't gonna, it's, 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 there's no, his love isn't conditional and there isn't no, okay, if you do this for me, then I'm gonna show you that affection. Cause that's how men, that's how a lot of these child molesters have worked with gay boys. They have made them believe, okay, this is how you gonna get love for me. Touch me this way. And I'm gonna, you know, give me your body. And I'm going to give you the love that you want. God ain't like that. He going to give you that unconditional love. And he going to love you regardless. So just try to wipe away all the nasty. Like, try to wipe away things that you know that's not going to get you to heaven. You know what I mean? I mean, you know, whatever. So if he will talk to me and show me how much he loves me, I know he can change me. Where I was six months ago, I was lost. I was drunk on a street full of clubs. I live I, I live 400 miles away from Hollywood, one of the biggest gay attractions in the United States. So 
so I've been there. I've had I've been there and done that. I've had the different men. I've had men of all different races trying to find love. Maybe if I go with a white dude, maybe if I talk to an Arabian, it's going to be different, but it's not. It's it's always going to be that same kind of cycle. I've went to LA thinking I would find something different there. Man, gay, it's it's that's not it's I'm trying to fill a void the whole time. I'm trying to find, fill a void in my heart that that I know deep down it's never going to be filled, but I but I just every time I just kept going and going and going, dude after dude after dude thinking that I was just going to find love somehow, but I'm not. The only way to really feel love is to Jesus. So give your life to him. I'm telling you, please repent. We are in the last days. Like, look at the signs. Yeah, people have been talking about the world is ending and, you know, it's going to end and da 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 da, da. But you really have to... People, God is changing lives. He is, even though He not Jesus is not here in the flesh, he's here in spirit and he is changing people. Any kind of person, all types of people, murderers, he is in prisons changing men's lives there are people are going to go to heaven that have murdered there are muslims that are converting to christianity in in mass numbers africans like everybody around the world is being changed and he said in the last days he was going to show signs in the stars and in the sky he was going to start being more upfront with people he's in people's dreams he's giving people visions he's healing more He's raising all of that. So you got to realize what time it is and just understand that this is all temporary and all the hurt that you feel in, it's going to subside at some point. You ain't got to do, you ain't got to live like that. So I'm going to just close it like this. I love y'all and I pray for y'all, my brothers and sisters in Christ. I'll see you when we get to heaven. Okay. So with that being said, Blessings to all of y'all. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.